got a bit of an interesting problem today and I thought it was worthy of making a video. This is between 150 days of winter. You get this view. It's been an incredible day. Thank you all for everybody. A client brought in a 2017 13 inch MacBook Pro model number A1708. They basically were having problems booting up the laptop. And as they described it to me, um, that they would get the folder with a question mark in it. However, if they rebooted the machine a few times, it would eventually boot. That they, as any good Apple user would, took it to the Apple store uh, to, to get their uh, thing out. This is basically what uh, the Apple store said. Issues with startup and booting, so, uh, steps to reproduce verified at the uh, Genius Bar, um, they they go on to just point out some like uh, uh, some damages to the thing. Advise the booking in to erase and install before hardware repair. Uh, Apple went and did this, and of course they ha they don't charge anybody just for looking at the machines. They later on came back and said, "You need a new motherboard." Uh, this per this person phoned me up and said, "Listen, can you go? Can you can you install a new motherboard in?" this for me and I went yeah yeah sure found one online uh, nice guy in Austria uh, total price is about 200 euros okay without without any storage on it from all the motherboards that I have taken out of the machine this is surprisingly simple there are very few screws holding it in a lot of cables holding it in installed that in to the machine plugged the uh, SSD in and guess what happened didn't work. The SSD didn't show up on the other motherboard either. Oh, sorry, I should point out that uh, generally when you uh, have a problem with a, uh, an SSD or any hard drive, uh, you basically, uh, if you get the folder icon with a question mark in it, if you start up in a recovery mode, uh, Command R, or depending on how you want to do it, uh, option command R. Uh, you can go to disk utility there and on the left hand side of disk utility you'll be able to see what the, what, what the drives uh, the machine can actually see and then you can go and do uh, first aid on it or uh, re-erase it or anything like that. Anyway, we go back and we, re we order another SSD, the process of elimination. New SSD, plug it into the old motherboard, go into recovery mode, Voila, there it is. The drive is now uh, seen perfectly and uh, basically just went in and reinstalled Ventura on this machine. I'm pleased this isn't a dig at Apple. Okay, I'm sure Apple initially would have said, oh, you need a new motherboard. And their motherboard would have been way more expensive than, than like this. And then when that didn't work, they would say, oh, you need a new SSD as well. And by that time, you would have exceeded the cost of the actual buying a secondhand machine like this. I, I'm no way having a dig at Apple, you know, even though, you know, in the comments you go, you know, Apple said this and I proved them wrong. <laughs> like so. When you have a problem like this, it is very difficult to try to find what exactly the problem is. And it's a process of elimination. I've never come across, so usually when an SSD fails, it completely fails. Old mechanical hard drives, you end up with something that gets slower and slower and slower and slower and slower, and then it fails. SSDs work, work, and then they fail. Yeah. So having this thing where restarting the machine a couple of times and it would boot seems a little strange, if you ask me, because again, it's like, uh, I, I don't know what, what was causing that. So instead of charging the client 200 euros for a new motherboard, they only have to pay 80 euros for a new SSD, which is a huge saving for them. And they can continue using this monstrosity of a machine. Uh, I'm not the greatest fan of 2017 machines. Uh, 20, after 2015, it all went a bit downhill with keyboards and, uh, and other things like this until M1 came along. But again, that's just my opinion. 
If you have any comments about this, I would love to read them down below. Uh, if you have a problem similar to that, uh, uh, again, I hope you find this useful. Uh, and on that, I will see you all in the next video. Ciao.